Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Selfful Home. We have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. This is episode 214, Tips to Transform Your Junk. And before we get started, I want to mention that the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 214. This was (laughs) Yvonne's idea. Yes. And we love it. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we are enjoying it. Now, wait, if this bombs, I don't want to be blamed for it. All right. (laughs) Okay. If it bombs, we'll edit that part out. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, Yvonne, explain to us how this works. Well, I just had a really fun idea. You know, we're always talking about what we have in our homes and we're always saying, oh, send me that or I'd like that or, you know, the great idea. So here's what I thought we would do today is we are going to virtually give each other some of our junk. And air quote have, junk, right? Yes, that we okay. have that we have in our house, things that are maybe a little outdated, things that, you know, for some reason we just can't get rid of. And we're going to give them to each other and see what we would how how each other would use them or update them or transform them to use in their house. So um I have some really good ones. Okay. That, that, I got, yeah. I'm glad I had an extra cup of tea. I need to be sharp. I get my creative juices going. I'm mm-hmm. sweating over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't I don't know about this. I don't really like junky things. But you know, there's some things in your, I'm sure most of our listeners have this. They have some, a few items in their house that no matter how much they purge, they just can't let go of it. Um, I mean, and that's a little more for me than others, but, um, I, I, you know, there's things that I have that I think, oh, I just, I know I'll use this someday or I'm just going to upscale this somehow. And, uh, I just think it would be fun to see if we virtually give it to each other, how we upscale it and make it. Well, and let me tell you the way this works too. I begged them to tell me ahead of time what it was, what they were going to give me, and they refused. Right. So we it was kind know. of fun to watch your beg, and we refused. <laughs> and they're like, "No, no, no." So the, we don't know what we're what we're getting, so, right? But okay. probably, I'm guessing, um, yes, we don't know, but I am guessing that a, a bunch of you have, the, if not these exact items in your stash somewhere something very similar. So yes. we're planning on giving you a ton of tips on how you can have fresh eyes and transform some of your quote unquote junk. So bring it on, Yvonne. Okay. What you got, baby? Well, the first item I actually, it's not in my basement. It's actually in my breakfast room and oh. it is a chicken lamp, not, not a rooster, not a standing rooster, but this is such a classic piece, but you know, I got it like 20 years ago and I keep using it. It's very French looking. It's a hen that's, that's like sitting. Okay. It looks very realistic. And the mm-hmm. lamp is, um, the lamp shade is oval and it's black and white twall. Okay. Now it's very, very pretty. I and is this, this, is this colored like a, is it white or is it, it colored no, like a regular chicken? No, it looks like, no, it's chicken. colored like a hen. It's a realistic like a chicken. Realistic chicken. hen. Lamp. Okay. And I just can't get rid of it. Oh. I, um, I overspent for it. Mm-mm. It was an investment piece and it truly has lasted, you know, a couple decades. But uh, I'm going to give it to Kelly. What are you going to okay, do with babe. it, Kelly? Okay. What are you going to do with it? Okay. And keeping, you know, of course I know your house, so it it helps a little bit that I would know what you would want to do. Oh, you can put it in your house. No, I'm giving it to you. Oh, you're giving it to me. (laughs) Okay. 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 All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're giving me this chicken lamp. Okay. And I, you know, I have a lot of French elements in my house Mm -hmm. and I'm not opposed to a farm animal now and again, Um, (laughs) but um, okay. I don't want it in the, I'm guessing it's sort of reds and browns and golds and stuff like that. It is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I left those colors back in the fall, but I left my, yeah. my autumnal <laughs> face. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, and I, first let me thank you for oh. gifting me with your special <laughs> chicken in a nest lamp. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm sure it's very clean, but I'm going to you know, dust it all off and I'm going to, you know, degrease it if needs be. I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to, um, I could give you the step by step, but I, off the top of my head, I am going to lacquer it 
in, with white spray paint. So I'm going to do a oh. shiny, not not a chalky. Not gold? I'm going to go. What? I'm going to go. You know, much more modern. I'm going to make a very modern chicken lamp and I, because if I do chalk paint it'll still look like farmy so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go chicken glam and I'm gonna spray paint it with, is that a new style white. chicken uh, glam ch- chicken glam yeah <laughs> and um so with a high gloss spray paint so you know you gotta tape it all mm-hmm. off okay now mm-hmm. you're saying it's on a nest is there any it's kind not of- on a nest it's okay. just sitting like it's on a nest and it has no base no base. So it just sits Mm-mm. on the ground. Okay. Cause mm-hmm. I was going to say, if there was a base, I might do the base in gold or something mm, like that. That would look nice actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the shade, I, I do like the toile, but again, that's maybe a little too country. Yes. Maybe I would, maybe I would change that up. So I might just put a, um, a black, uh, sort of, uh, textured, maybe like a, a burlap textury, um, lampshade and maybe do a drum shape. Or if I decided to keep the toile, maybe I would put like a black um, gross grain ribbon around the bottom and just hot glue that on just to make it a little bit more dramatic. And uh, and I think she would look really fresh that Kelly, way. Kelly, I may not give that one away after all. <laughs> yeah, and I <laughs> because think that I like what you did your with house. it. Yeah, and you know, here's here's a tip: if you let's talk about lamps. If if you've got a lamp that you can spray paint, do it. It'll save you so much money than buying a new one. And also, a nice new shade on an old lamp gives it new life. Don't you think? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And I love that drum shade. Drum shades, I I'm that's my favorite shape for a um lampshade. So good job, Kelly. Thank you. I'm kind of excited. Are you gonna send it to me for reals? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll give it to you when you're in Charleston with me. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nita, do you have one or I have I have some. Oh, okay. Well, I've got I've got one. Bring it. Okay. Down. Okay. This is for Yvonne. Okay. I have uh, a bunch of these. I, I'm trying to think what these are called, but they're they're antiques. They're little glass pieces that are maybe six feet, uh, six inches tall. Excuse me. And I think they were called insulators. They're electrical oh. insulators. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, I are are they? Yes. They almost have like a. They almost look like a doorknob on the top. Yes. A little bit. Yes. Yes. And they're Ooh. blue. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. How many do you have of those? Um, five. Do you know I know exactly what to do with them? What? Stop it, you do not. <laughs> no, I do. I do. Okay, I, maybe you should explain <laughs> what those are for the people who can't visualize them. Okay, they're, they they almost look like there's a, a cup on the bottom with a little knob at the top, and they're totally made out of glass. And they would be so perfect if you would take a board and maybe paint it white or, you know... um or leave it natural, but put some like natural uh, wax on it. And I would make them into coat hooks. Oh. And then I would glue them on in equal intervals, or I would use them to hang aprons on in the kitchen. (gasps) Cute. And that might be good because they're not not too heavy. Now, now, I I, know know I've seen those around, but I don't know what they were used for. Were they part well, they were, of something else? Yeah, 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 yeah. They were they were insulators for electrical wires, like for the poles, I think. But uh, they're so oh, beautiful, so like from, made out okay. of glass. So they are from the the knob and tube uh, of uh, electric. No, well, I no. They I went mean, over the wires, right? Well, it looks like an upside down cup. It's kind of what yes. they look like with a okay. with a sort of a ball the on rounded the bottom. on the top. Yeah, and yeah, and just think. I mean, I think if- they went on the power poles. I could be wrong about that. Okay, because okay. I have ones from inside my house because we had that kind of we had that kind of electricity in. in well, the maybe house. they were in houses. I I really don't oh know. wow, but I know I'm not they're old quite enough to have seen them in use. <laughs> I don't remember okay. seeing them. Well, when I was with Edison, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think that's wow. That that was pretty good, Yvonne, because that was a way out item. Let me just say this though: if you would take them and take that board and hang it vertically, so they all go down in a row, or just stagger them, you could have a vertical hanging, um, uh, just something to hang on. Which I love if you just have a little bit of space instead of going horizontal, go oh. vertical. So if you then I think outside the box. So if you have 
if you've collected old doorknobs or you've collected, you know, if you still have your, um, uh, your pulls from your kitchen counter, from your kitchen redo, you know, that you've just kept in a box or something, look around, use anything like that to make really unique hangers for your coats and pocketbooks and aprons and hey, maybe even jewelry on the backside of your closet door. Very smart. Okay. All right. I got one for um, Nita Jean. Oh my goodness. Okay. Get out. <laughs> and it, I actually have so many of these because it's a little bit of an obsession. Okay. Uh, okay. An empty, but a really lovely frame. Oh, mm. okay. And you don't oh. want to spend the money to put a mirror in it or anything like that. No, no, no. That's too obvious anyway. Exactly. <laughs> You're better than that, girl. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Well, I mean, is this uh, really old, really beautiful? Well, you know, yeah. 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 Kind of well, is. I because I actually use those on the wall empty because mm-hmm. I love that look. Uh, but you could use it on the wall with a candle sconce. In the center. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, or another thing that I've done in the past is to staple chicken wire on the back and then use pl- um, clothespins to put pictures on. Oh. Or jewelry. I'm in a jewelry mm-hmm. mood, jewelry. Girl. Oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> Well, your birthday's jewelry. coming, you know, soon-ish. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. get ready. Yeah, yeah. So That is, I love the chicken wire idea, Anita. Now, when so, you put the chicken so wire on... Because I have not done the chicken wire. I think I've thought about it and for cabinets and whatnot. And now maybe I would, because yeah. I do have quite a, an array. Of, this was kind of a selfish one because I do have a lot of these empty frames. Do you use a um, one of those big staple guns or how do you do it? Yeah. Well, now, first thing, when you go to the store, apparently the politically correct term for chicken wire is poultry netting. Oh, oh my goodness. That's what it said. Well, on... so that would have been a poultry lamp that I just redesigned. <laughs> yes, apparently. Okay. So, so we're getting uh, we're getting um politically uh right. co- not stewardess, yes. not chicken no, wire. No, no, no. Okay. Poultry netting. Well, the other, you know, poultry were upset that they were excluded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, right. Cuz you can't be like, oh, you know, whatever those little things are. Guinea hen netting and you know, Yes, just exactly. Easier. Okay. Yeah, okay. so it was just yeah, so we had to change the term. So, uh yeah, so yes, you could just use a um one of those um yeah, a, a poultry staple things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have an electric staple gun. It was just one of those uh, you know, mm-hmm. manual ones. Heavy duty. Yeah. That's, That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT. And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well. And we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. 
Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. You know, I just think having those frames, there's so many things you can do with them, paint them, group them on your wall. There's so many things you can do um, with frames. So if you've got some, you know, even if they're like gold or, or, I mean, gold is coming back big time, things that you think are outdated, think again, put a little paint on them and use them on your walls. Yeah. Great. One, one great, time great. I did do um, something in a house years ago, I had a real big one and then I, I think I it was maybe three. So a real book one and then inside of it, a medium one. And then inside of that, I put a, a really pretty small watercolor that was also framed. So oh, it just kind of nice. like kept bringing your eye into the oh, little nice. painting. Yeah, because because sometimes the little paintings just get lost on the wall, but they're super pretty. Yeah. And if you want to hang it, that gives it a lot more presence if you put these bigger frames around it. What a creative idea to take a little picture and make it a big focal point. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great mm. idea. Okay, I'm going to give this to... Should I give it to you again, Kelly, or should we trade up? What, I'll give- whatever you feel. Okay. Pick it I- out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I have these beautiful leather chairs that I... Oh, um, you're getting chairs. Well, but wait. You might get chairs. Oh, There's two. You're, you're, <laughs> you're not two. Right, you're you not, have two chairs, give one to each of them. No, wait. You're not getting at the chair. Oh, okay. However, they look horrible when I photographed them, so I covered them with white duck material so that they look great. And we have a matching... I, the best way I can describe it, it's not a footstool. It's a true hassock. Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? My grandma used to use that word, but okay. I don't know what the difference is. Well, I think of a hassock as a more sturdy piece of furniture. It's bigger. It has, you know, nice legs on it. It's substantial mm-hmm. and it's square. Um, what are you going to do with the leather hassock, Kelly? Why am I? Okay. So we have a leather chair and a, and a leather No, hassock. no, you, you don't get the chair. I've covered it I already. I tried that already. Okay. And so now you have the hassock and you want to use it with the chair. Yeah. Or well, or no, saying- I'm just giving it to you. You just get okay. You get me. I know. I keep wanting to fix it and giving it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Do you have a, you have enough of your own junk, Kelly? <laughs> I do. I for sure do. Okay, is it low to the ground? It's it's it is um, exactly seat height with my my leather chair. Oh, so it's, it's taller than a little ottoman. It's, that's well, it's, that's why I won't call it an ottoman because okay. it's, it has more presence. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to take it away from the chair because I feel like Hassock, I don't know, it does make me think of my grandmother. She had these really, yeah. I mean, they were awful, but she was always like, pull the hassock over for me. And I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> so I just remember that word. And um, okay. I mean, so you I, could call it a tall ottoman. Okay. Well, I'm going to divorce it from the chair. Uh-huh. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to freshen it up. Is it um does it have legs or is it all covered with the No, leather? it has legs. But the the leather is absolutely gorgeous, but it just doesn't photograph well. Okay, so the leather is gorgeous and then the legs are wood? Yes, and they and, and they ro- they have little casters on the bottom. Oh, see, that would have been easier to pull over for my grandma. I would have to yeah, drag her house drag across the room. <laughs> okay, so and they had little casters. Okay, mm-hmm. are the casters like cool looking, or are they just like meh, meh? no? They're pretty cool. Mm-hmm. They're good. Okay, because mm-hmm. you might want to replace the casters with some like maybe oh, if they're tiny, you might want to kind of make yeah. it more of a um, industrial look and replace the casters with some vintage ones that are maybe oversized Ca- wheels. You know, like maybe yeah, wooden. These are tiny. So yeah, that would be a good. That, that might be, be fun, good. right? And what color mm-hmm. is the leather? Is it brown? It is a, um, yeah, but it's a, 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 a medium brown that almost has a grayish cast to it. Oh, not bad. Okay. And the legs are brown? 
Mm -hmm. Legs are brown. Okay. So maybe the legs, I mean, I, depending on the, the, the way the leather and the wood are going together, I'm thinking like maybe it would be fun to either, uh, I wouldn't go the trouble of stripping them, but maybe doing them in some sort of paint, maybe, maybe making them kind of more of a weathered gray look. And then I'm thinking putting on these a sort of industrial looking wooden caster wheels that are a little oversized. Mm -hmm. And then I would maybe use it pulled up to a, a coffee table or something like that. So make it, it its own little destination rather than for feet, make it more for the tush, make it more like a, a poof. Yes. What a good idea. So, and if you had the bigger casters, it would be a little higher. So you wouldn't feel like, you know, I'm falling, boom, and then land yeah, on it. You know, you'll yeah. be a little higher as far like comfort seating, which we like. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think that's what I would do. Good job. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So, Kelly, I have something odd for you. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm getting exhausted. Oh. All right. Bring. Oh, I know. That's right. Oh, you just got the last one. She did. That's okay. I'm on a roll. Bring it. Okay. Well, I thought, yeah, I thought this might challenge you. Uh oh. <laughs> mm, let's see what you can come up with this. I have this thing. It's basically an architectural element. It's the base of a column. It's very ornate. It's very heavy, very big. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really go just anywhere. So it's maybe, oh, it's about 30 inches wide each mm -hmm. way. Oh, and, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's big. And then maybe, oh, 15 inches tall. Okay. I mean, where would you put something that big? Because it won't fit just on a regular, you know, side table. Yeah. Okay. And it's um, made of stone or uh, plaster. Plaster. So mm -hmm. you can, so it's not that heavy. I will it's take still that pretty one. heavy. It's still wow. pretty heavy. So it's 30 by maybe 15. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Oh, that's kind of an interesting one. And it, is it flat on the top? Sort of close to being flat. Not exactly, but fairly close. Okay, I'm thinking because that it's so large, maybe I would put it in a corner area or even, you know, behind maybe a chair that you could see through so you can appreciate it, but but in a corner and I think I would put a, a maybe put a a large plant on top of it. Almost use it oh. as a pedestal for then a really mm. great basket with a plant in it. So that's also going to give cuz I love to have a tall plant in a room to give it some height. And so it would kind of be the pedestal for the basket and then raise the entire unit up and so you've getting more uh you know getting the plant to to go higher in the room um because at 15 inches it's really not tall enough to be a side table right it's even next short. to a low sort of chair mm -hmm. so i think you're gonna have it's going to have to be used as some sort of pedestal mm -hmm. oh, that's and a great yeah idea. so i think that that might be a depending on how it looks with the the basket, like I wouldn't put a dark brown basket on it, maybe like a weathered grayish looking one or a really light um, raw rattan might look good with it. That's what Ooh. I think. This is so intriguing to me. It's 30 inches in diameter. Uh, well, it's square. So it's, it's about, okay. well, maybe it's not quite 30 inches, but it's like two feet, I guess, each wow. wide. Each wow. Wow. I'd have to have a, I've got to, I've got to chime in here. I'd have a base made for it. Uh huh. And then I'd make it an end table. Oh, oh, oh you mean like a column underneath it or, or put uh, it no, I would down? make a, I'd probably make some kind of a base. I don't know if I'd even go to a shop that does iron work and have that. That's fitted. a good idea. And so it's like that industrial right. slash. Yeah. Cause I wouldn't know. try to match it. I would do something totally a different, different material. Right. That's oh yeah. Thinking. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's white Absolutely. with gold painted on it. Um, oh, that would be that cool. I just, I just had to have it. I mean, it wasn't cheap. And then I got it in my house. And I was like, what are you going to do with this? Like, <laughs> do you know, in your house, it would look gorgeous. Get a base made for it. That is such a unique piece. Or maybe just when you want everyone to really listen to you, just stand on it. And talk to <laughs> it. I like that. Well, actually, right now it's in. It's next to my a pedestal tub, and I have a wire basket on top of it filled with towels. So that's yeah. Great. Well, there oh, no. you go. Way Don't give that away. Okay, I got one. I'm going to give this to Yvonne. Okay. I have a set of brass sconces that are for candles, like a la Williamsburg. 
and oh, with with okay. glass hurricanes. Oh, okay. Um, and they weren't cheap, you know, like they're the good stuff. Yeah, they're the good stuff. So even me, who you know, I think you know, wakes up with a can of spray paint in her hand, has not yeah. gone there. Has are these, now are, are they lacquered? lacquered? Kind of a, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just saying the same thing. Are yeah, they I know, lacquered? I know. Oh yeah, Go baby, the they're place. lacquered. Yeah. Well, oh. I would probably get them unlacquered then. Mm. I don't know if you can take them to somebody. I really don't know this, and okay. I should, but I would have them unlacquered. Mm-hmm. And I would use the hurricanes for just putting big candles in on my table. I would, I would divorce them from each other. So they're not going to be seen together. Mm-hmm. I would unlacquer them and I would put those, um, fake candles. Uh, I mean, they're, they're like a candlestick. They're a candlestick. Um, you put a candlestick in them rather than a bigger, um, uh, candle. Yes. Right? They're like okay. for a taper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Taper. I have, um, you can get these candles sticks, these tapers that are, that look real. They flicker, but they're not. Mm-hmm. And I would put them out, um, on my back porch. Oh, outdoors. And I would light them for the summer. They would be so pretty sitting. I have a, a corner a corner of my porch where my railing meets where the um, side of my house meets the back. And we have a table there and some flowers. And I just, I think I'm going to hang, I'm going to hang them from the poles that hold up my porch. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm, nice. I like and I'm just going to let them weather. Yeah. Just let it go. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that's a great idea because they are quite pristine. They're beautiful. I bet. They're, yeah, they're really pretty, but there's just not what's happening now. Well, and if you'd have them unlacquered and use them outside, what better, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. I I mean, I still like the brass, yeah. And, you know, I'm still holding on to my... Now, I do have those, like, Williamsburg beautiful brass um, chandeliers that when I first got married, I have them down in my basement to spray paint and make them into outdoor. I want to use mirror ball on it and use them over our table outside. Now explain from mirror the ball. You just brushed over that. Letting people don't know. Uh, mirror colors. ball is a, it's a spray paint finish that looks sort of like um, mercury glass. And that's what I would use. That's what I'm going to spray paint and use. And then I want to put those little um, uh, solar, solar uh plugs in them that you know just from the the light of the sun light up at night and we're going to hang those from a tree because our uh our outdoor eating table is under a big tree and hang that on a some kind of a lever or a hook that i could when the weather you know because we get a lot of terrible thunderstorms so when the weather's bad i can just like pull it down to the to the ground nice yeah but anyway, don't don't um don't turn your nose up at brass, the old brass. It's oh, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, it you un- know, but if it's I, good, I get it unlacquered. Right. And I really do like you know, I like shiny things. I'm a bit mm-hmm. of a magpie in that way. So even if it's brass, but it this it's is like that shape. pale, it's also that sort of pale, you know, if you had to give mm-hmm. it a color, it'd be like yellow, like pale, not the deep, rich you know, sort of Venetian looking gold brass. Cause even if you mm-hmm. have that and it's pristine and it's shiny, I don't know this, that seems to still, still kind of work with what I've got going on. You know what I'm talking about? It's like that I paler do. one that just like, Absolutely. it's like a little wham wham. Well, I, I, um, I know I have actually had brass lacquered. I don't know if you can get it unlacquered. I think you can. I'm looking, actually, I'm looking right now to see if there's anything online we can tell people about how to do it. Well, you know, why don't we just put that in the show notes? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll have researched it by then. Yeah. But I, I, I bet you a lot of people have brass. Acetone, which is a little, you know, you have to be careful uh, using that. Yeah, that's true. Acetone is what you take your nail polish on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, I'm okay with that. Right. <laughs> I do that all the time. Just don't drink it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, of course not. Yeah. Okay. I think it's my turn. Yes. And I'm going to give this to Anita. Okay. Because did, uh, I think Kelly, you had two. Oh, I've got plenty. I'm. I'm I think Anita's. I'm going to take a break. (laughs) Anita, (laughs) I have kept this, 
and you can borrow it, but I do want it back because I know where I'm going to use it. But I thought it was something that I bet you a lot of our readers have. I have a beautiful red oriental rug. Now, not one of those less expensive ones that have those, you know, um, the, the borders and, you know, you could just tell, okay, this was, this was mass produced. Yeah, yeah. This is an absolutely beautiful silk oriental deep rug, deep red rug. And I want to know what you're going to do with it. Oh. Mm. It is so not your color. <laughs> well, no, but I do like those rugs though. Oh, I, I mean, know. But, and I think with that, it's not so much what I would do with it, but what I would do with a room, I mean, if there it was for me or for you or another client, if I was putting that in a room, I'd probably go with some deep, rich colors, some jewel tones in that room. Um, you know, as much as we're into neutrals, I think that kind of rug would really work well with some, well, you know what I might do actually instead, rather than putting dark colored furniture with it, I would go with a dark gray on the walls, maybe. Oh, okay. I would go with, or a dark blue. I would go with a dark color on the walls with that rug and then maybe put neutral furniture in there. That might be kind of a cool. Mm, that would look beautiful. Yeah. I, I, I actually have a red, um, rug, a very mm-hmm, beautiful mm-hmm. flat weave rug. It's not Oriental. It's kind of a Navajo looking kind of rug yes, that, I'm, yeah. that doesn't really fit in my house right now, but it's like, I can't let it go because I, it's really beautiful and it wasn't uh, cheap, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was, a, this is the best rug we owned. And that's one of the reasons I couldn't get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, so that's what we, I do. Uh, the, this yeah. is, this was an investment. Of course, my taste changed. It used to be under my kitchen table and it, that's how good it is. It just still, it held up so mm. well. Yeah. And I think many people have oriental rugs like yeah. rolled up somewhere. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do with it is I'm, I'm going to paint my walls that my favorite sonic color, which is a, a like a soft off white or a bone. And I'm going to put a lot of very neutral color in this. It's going to be in a bedroom and we have a beautiful gable. We have a second gable window in our house, smaller than our main one. And it's enough to put two chairs and I'm going to put that red rug there and then layer it over a bigger, um, sisal rug. And then the only, I think I'm just going to do red accent pillars and have pillows and have everything else be predominantly neutral. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah. So don't, don't, you know, don't give up on your good orientals. Think of how you can change your room. And that's exactly right, Anita. Think of how we can change our room to accommodate those beautiful things that we've owned for decades and decades that cost us a lot of money that are probably rolled up like mine was in my basement. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy-to-reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose 
two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt yeah and i think there is a place for that still those are gorgeous rugs and i think you can make it work uh you know without transforming your whole house maybe it's just one room that you change up a bit yeah and if you layer it over a sisal rug that'll really update it don't you think Oh, I think so. But yeah, I love definitely. the wall color. I thought that was that was beautiful, Anita. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. We have just one more? Yeah, let's do one more. I'll throw it out to both of you. Okay. I think, okay, everybody that's listening, think about this. I bet you've got something like this, or maybe you had something like this and you let it go because that was these things were wildly popular and kind of inexpensive for a long period of time. Those metal scrolly wall decor things. Uh, You know, like you could just buy the piece. It was like a rectangle or a square, sometimes a round. And you'd be like in TJ Maxx or Home Goes. You'd be like, oh, yeah, let me get one of that. You Mm -hmm. know, and it usually had like the brass and bronze tones to it. You with me on this? I don't even know what it is. No, I'm not. I don't know what it is. I definitely know what that is. Um, I just think of like Anita, I, how could you not know what it is? It's a scrolly is- wall decor. <laughs> scrolly uh, metal scrolly. wall decor. So it's got little it, so it's kind of like a bamboo shade? No, but it's metal. It's metal. It's like a, mm-hmm. a wall decor, like a square or a rectangle that you hang on the wall, you know, in, instead of a Is it does frame. it is it flat is it rigid? Yeah, it's yes. made of metal. I still don't know what it is. Scrolly. What's well, that's scrolly? okay. I'll take this. Okay, okay? you take it. You yeah. take it because I don't know well, what it is. Well, from would... now suddenly came from Pluto this morning. And doesn't <laughs> well, I, don't, well, I think it's the, this, I think it's the description. Just a plug for Pluto. I think it still is a planet, and I totally <laughs> I do disagree too. with that. I can't. You can't be not and, a planet. And Anita, after a while. Anita, you have done really you well. You have done really for well for a person going. Don't do this. Yeah. I don't. You know, I, I want to know what everything that, is. I don't know what you're doing. Please yeah. tell me in advance. So we said no. So you've done <laughs> no, well. No. But I would take the um, plaque. 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 Could be a plaque. Yeah, because sometimes they were resin. Nice points. Yeah. Yes. But no, I, I, I work doing metal scrolly open work. Yes. yes. I would spray paint oh, it. Oh, open work? Like it's cut out little scrolls yes. in it? She's still trying. Oh, Isn't okay. that cute? She's still trying to figure it out. <laughs> well, no, I, I never. <laughs> oh, Anita, we just love you. Anyway, I would take it and spray paint it. Maybe I would do it uh, oil rubbed bronze. Mm-hmm. And then I would put it somewhere a laundry room, a bathroom or whatever. And I would hang it from the four corners and use either like a rope or um, some kind of link. Uh-huh. like some, um, And I would hang things from it. Oh, so you would hang it uh, parallel I to get- the floor. Yes. Oh. And I would, I would think of things to a hang. A pot rack or such. I, like that. That's oh, exactly what I was thinking oh, of. Oh, that's very clever. But I was thinking of more for my laundry room. Like I could even use hangers and hang up like my shirts and things that I don't throw in the wash and just to right. dry. You'd oh. have enough. You'd have enough space. And I think it would look interesting and fun. I think that is fun. Or you oh, can make it into cute. a shelf. Yeah, that's really fun. Could make it into a shelf with a piece of glass over it. Even. Yeah. Oh, so what there threw, you go. threw me on this was scrolly. I thought it scrolled up like a scroll. That's what I thought oh. you were saying. Oh, no, no. Oh. I meant like the metal. I'm sorry. Scroll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's what the metal. Like fancy okay. work. Yeah. Or th- thinking of that, you could even take it, spray paint it, put a piece of glass over it, and use it as a base for a vignette. Oh, oh, like mm, sort oh, of a tray. Yeah, like a tray. Yeah, like yeah, a tray. Nice. We love our trays. We do. We do. We do. How and that f- would, yeah, that would serve the purpose of a tray. Mm-hmm. How fun is this? That's a good See, one. You have junk somewhere in your house you're holding on to that really, let's be creative and transform it and use it. 
Oh yeah, you can. One more idea for that. It just came to my head because you okay. were saying late flat. Because mm-hmm. I have a scrolly uh, metal door mat. You know, kind of oh, like yes, a more yes. like a boot mm-hmm. scraper kind of thing. I mean, it's mostly just mm-hmm. decorative. No one's really wearing boots, and if they are, they're not scraping them. Let me just tell you. Uh, <laughs> you could put that by your. If it's a square, you could put it by your door. Or a rect- I should say, if it's a rectangle, scraper. you could put it by mm-hmm. your door. And yeah. put your boots on it so they dry out. Yeah, boot tray. Boot tray. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> well, you know Send what? Send us you would- your junk ideas. Yeah, <laughs> we'll I'll have do. an answer well, for you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Mm -hmm. What would be really fun, too, is um, if you have something in your house and you're not really sure what to do with it, but you don't want to let go of it, or you think it's got some transformable potential, send us an email. A picture would be great. And then uh, maybe we'll feature your junk transformation on an upcoming episode. Oh, yeah. Definitely send us a picture so we don't get we don't get stuck in the weeds. Yeah, yeah. So we know what the scrolly (laughs) really means. That's right. (laughs) Uh, Remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time.